Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to our Montreal Canadiens franchise mode. Now before we get started with our franchise mode, I want to apologize for last episode because it was horrendous. Like what happened is I recorded that episode around 7.30 in the morning and then I found out the audio wasn't working like about uh, 3 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon because basically what happened is I recorded that episode, I went to school, came back, edited it, and then uploaded it. And I found out the audio was like complete trash, so I apologize for that, but hopefully you guys still understood the gist of what happened. So anyways, we missed the playoffs and we have the 8th overall pick, but... There is a defenseman that's projected to go 7th overall by our scouts and 6th overall by the uh, central scouting. So I want to move up to 6th overall so we can get this guy. So Christopher Cutler from the London Knights. He's a right-handed shot defenseman, so that's pretty nice. He's also two-way, which is better than getting a defensive defenseman. As you can see, 38 points when he played with London in 64 games. Could be a pretty good player. I don't know how he's going to simulate in the NHL, but you can see he's got some pretty good stats. And he's kind of like a Victor Hedman type of style. So, yeah, that's the guy I really want to get. And then there's also some goaltending prospects that go in, like, rounds 2 and 3, I think, that I might look at getting some of them. So, yeah, those are the ones I'm potentially looking at getting. I don't know if we will get some. Maybe we will. Because, like, Zubov, I know for a fact, I feel like he's going to just stay at a 73 because he didn't get any growth during uh, this year. So, let's get right into the 2021 draft and see if we could get that defenseman. So, I don't know who has 6th and how we're going to move up, but let's see. So, Detroit has number 6, okay. So, they probably don't want to move it. Yeah, they don't want to move it. But if we gave them 8th overall, so, yeah, this pick... And then maybe we just throw in, do they want any picks for next year? They, oh yeah, they do want some. So we could give it our fourth round pick for next year. That should do it, I think. Yeah, it should do it. It moves up two spots to get an extra fourth rounder for next year. So let's see if that works. And it's rejected. Possibly insufficient. How? I'm not giving up a third round pick in this. I mean, I could, but I, it's a bit more risky with a team like us. So let's also throw in our seventh rounder for next year. Because they want all those. Still don't like it. Hmm. I guess we'll throw in our third, even though I don't really like giving up uh, first three rounds for picks. We need to move up and get this guy because we don't have any defensive prospects really in this team. So that's what we're going to do. So first and a third for sixth overall and that's still rejected you got to be kidding me Detroit I might have to move up to like some other spot instead um what could we throw in a seventh rounder as well is that going to make you happier still not wow okay let's just check the uh fifth place team see if they want to move their pick um LA probably not but we might be able to get fifth instead so we will give up 8th, and then we will give up... Maybe they wanted our 2nd, but I don't know about giving up a 2nd for next year. Let's see if LA would take the 1st and the 3rd. Nope. Hmm. Let's try 2nd, I guess. Might as well. Even though I don't really want to give up a 2nd, we might as well try because we need a defensive prospect, and they're still not liking it. What is this? I don't get it. <laughs> They want another first round pick, I'm guessing, but we don't really have another first rounder that I'm willing to give up, and I don't really want to do that, so let's do a second and a third, which is really risky with us being a rebuilder team, but we do need that defenseman, like, badly, I think, so this is probably going to bite me in the ass, so first, a second, and a third for LA's fifth overall pick, and they're still not willing to do it, god damn. Okay, maybe we have to move up to... Hmm. There's no other spot I could take him, maybe. Like, I could try and trade for that Nashville pick that's one ahead of us, but the thing is, the defenseman could go to Detroit beforehand, so I might need to take one of these two picks. Let me just see if Arizona wants to move fourth overall. No, they don't. Hmm. I'm going to try and still get that LA pick because I think we need this defenseman. And if he does not go, um, if he goes in like 7th uh, overall, you know, that would be nice. 
or eighth overall somehow. So, hmm. We definitely have to give up this pick. We could give up one of our thirds for this year, actually, as well. So, we'll give up 69th just for the memes. And then we'll also throw in our second for next year. I think that should be a good trade. And oh yeah, that's, that thing's annoying when a pick happens and then it gets rid of your trade. Oh, I have to do that again. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so we got to give up our first 69th because we have three third round picks anyways this year. So it's not the worst ca case scenario. And then we also have actually a lot of fifths and stuff too. But they don't want our third for this year, but we'll see if they will take on this trade. And still rejected. Hmm. Why are they rejecting it? I'm not giving two first round picks up. Because if like next year we should be a bad team still potentially. I don't want to give up a potential lottery guy. We could look at skaters matching the block as well. Um, anybody that we're willing to move out. Oh they actually have Carl Alsner on their interest list. I don't think we could th uh, throw in Carl Alsner to be honest. But. Um, everybody that they want is pretty much on one-year deals. Hmm. Anybody with some good trade value that they actually want? Not really. How about goalies matching block? No, they don't have any interest in anybody. Damn. Okay, maybe we'll try again with, um, Detroit. Maybe we actually have something they need. This episode might be long just because of how long it's taking me to find a trade for one of these picks. Because I expected it to be quite a bit easier, but... These teams don't want to budge. So let's see. Skaters matching block. Okay, so they do like some of our prospects that we have. And we do have a lot of them. I might throw in Jesse Yolonen. Because this guy, I know he doesn't reach his top 6 potential. Yeah, I might do that. Even though he is AHL ready and whatnot. Some of you Habs fans might not like that, but yeah, I know this guy doesn't really re meet, his, uh, meet his potential eventually, so we might throw him in. Let's just put that for now. Um, we do have a lot of other good prospects that they could be interested in, but let's throw in Yolonen. He's got good trade value. That should do it on its own, I think. If it doesn't, I will be really surprised. And it's still rejected. God damn it, Detroit and L.A. I'm never going to trade with you guys again if you're going to be like that. Let's try and throw in... Hmm. Yeah, let's throw in our third round pick for next year as well. This is a lot of stuff to give up for just... like I guess they really like that defenseman, but we need that defenseman more than they do. They still don't like that trade. Come on. Computers don't like the budget, it seems like, on their draft picks. How about a second? Still rejected. What is this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if this content is really boring right now, but I really did not expect this kind of, like, nobody wants this type of thing. Okay, let's give up our own third round pick for this year as well. How? That's so much picks and stuff just for sixth overall. Like, I know you guys want that elite defenseman, but damn. Let's try and uh, trade with... Let's try and trade with Arizona, because we have not tried to trade with them yet. This episode might only end up being a draft if it takes too long. So we give up this pick. We give up skaters matching the block. Do they want those guys as well? No, they don't. They want different people. Oh my god. Come on, stupid thing. Hmm. Let's try LA again. I get I could also try and trade with Nashville, but like I said, I don't know if that defenseman's gonna go on uh, seventh or if he's gonna go sixth. Like, it depends on the team. So, we'll give up this pick. We'll give up a second and a third for next year. And then, also, since you guys are probably going to be even pickier than um, Detroit is. Let's see. We'll throw in... What do we want to throw in? I'm not throwing in Gooley because he's going to be a defensive prospect for us next year. Yeah, there's, like, nothing I could throw in that they like. Because they don't like any of our veteran kind of guys. Hmm. Might have to throw in another pick in this. But let's see again. Rejected. Come on LA. Stop being a douche. I don't know why they're being a douche to us. 
maybe because we beat them in the Stanley Cup Finals back in 93. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's throw in our fourth as well. So we're giving up three pit or a shit ton of picks just to move up a couple spots, but they still don't like the value. How? Okay, let's do a third for the year after that too. Yeah, this is definitely going to come back to bite me in the ass, I feel like, but we need this pick. How? Come on. I, I almost don't care what we give up at this point. Maybe I'll give up the second for this year. Uh, or the early third. Yeah, early third. So two thirds, a second, and the eighth overall pick. And it's woefully insufficient. I don't know how it's woefully insufficient. Maybe I'll throw in our second for this year, actually, then. It's an early second round pick. Yeah, that one should work. That's a lot to give up just to get into the top five, but still. And still rejected. These teams do not want to budge at all. And we might not be able to get that defenseman that I want. Like, I really need that defenseman. Because, like, we need somebody to get uh, be really good on that defensive pairings and stuff like that. So, huh. Let's just throw in one more pick into this mix. So three, uh, two third rounders, two second rounders, and the first for a fifth overall pick. I don't know if the tr thing's broken or not, but LA's not budging at all. Might be uh, broken trading up in the first round. Uh, let's try Detroit again. Like, I mean, if that defenseman doesn't go until seventh, then we could trade with Nashville for it. But still, I don't know if he's what's going to be happening with that. Um... Uh, First and third, second, and we'll give up one of our thirds. This one, they'll probably still reject it. Right? Holy crap! Okay, so we're gonna actually wait and see. This might be risky, but we could always wait until after to draft a trade for this guy. But like Nashville might be the one that ends up having to take him. So we'll see where this guy goes. If or well, if he's not gonna go yet. So Harkins goes. That's the offensive defenseman. Wong goes, please, defensemen, don't go till number 7. Because, I mean, if we can, we will trade up for number 7. Because Nashville might be willing to move that pick. Oh, Cutler went number 5. Well, I guess we're not getting him now. Jeez, I didn't expect him to go top 5. It said 6th or 7th. Well, I guess we're not getting an elite defenseman. But there is a top 4 defenseman that's supposed to go, I think, in our spot. So... That's good, and we just missed it on a left wing two-way forward. Huh, that's elite. Okay, so there is still this defenseman. He doesn't look like he's elite, though. Like, our scouting ranking is almost saying that he's third, but I don't think he is. He's got a three-year ETA, so he's probably a top four, but better than nothing. So welcome aboard, Carson Lambos. 65 medium elite. Okay, he did have elite potential. Okay, so at least we actually got an elite defenseman, but he's going to take a couple years to develop. Huh. Okay. 63 points in 68 games with the Winnipeg Ice. Okay. So I guess it didn't really matter if we moved up or not. We just have to wait a bit of time uh, to uh, get our next um, our elite defenseman. He might take one year to grow. Who knows? Depending on how he plays in the uh, WHL. Um, so let's see, second round pick, I was looking at getting probably Kobayashi. Three year ETA, yeah, we're going to take Kobayashi. Gives us another center prospect, the low top six forward. He might not actually make it. Third round pick, let's take one of those goalies if there's goalies still available. There should be goalies in this round, right? Or is it next round? Uh, there is this goalie, but I don't know if he's good or not. Five-year ETA is kind of a long time. Hmm, maybe we'll wait till next round. Yeah, we'll wait till next round to take a goalie. Um, that guy's real, so he's probably not good. Actually, the goalie is supposed to go right around here. So you know what? We're gonna take Skylar McEachern. Medium starter, 60 overall. So that's not bad. Hopefully, that guy actually pans out. And then we have another pick right behind that one. So we will take. Merrick Simic, maybe? Four-year ETA is not bad for a guy in the third round. Yeah, we'll take Merrick Simic, why not? 
seventh defenseman. That's not good. And in our other third round pick, because we have so much of them, we will take hmm, Hilpert, maybe? Five-year ETA is a long time still, though. There's another goalie. Four-year ETA. Chris Murley. He doesn't look bad in the scouts recommending him to us. So, yeah, let's take this goalie. Sky or Chris Murley. <laughs> I almost said Skyler. Medium backup. Wow, okay. Yeah, that guy's probably not going to get signed. Okay, so. What are we going to do with this pick? 99th. We have way too much picks in this, so. Um... Let's go with this Purcell guy, even though he doesn't look like he's going to be an elite guy. We'll take him anyways. He is a low elite. Okay, 56 overall, not bad. Might have a chance to pan out. 111th, let's go with... We don't need necessarily another goalie. Let's go Pete Harold. I think that's a real player's name, actually. Medium top 9, not bad. Has potential, at least, and probably has trade value. 5th round... Um, this guy could be a low elite power forward. Four year ETA, let's take him. Why not? Billy Sahonen, low bottom six, that's not good at all. 142nd overall. Hmm. Let's go with this guy. He could be medium elite, doubt it, but we'll take him anyways. Low top four, that's not bad either. Wait, is it our pick again? Jeez, we have a ton of picks in this draft. Just as much as last year, but at least we're getting more young guys into the system. Okay, so... Who else do we want to take? Let's take Andrew Calder. Maybe he'll get the Calder. 7th D. 161st, so we're in the 6th round now. We will take... Hmm... Let's take this Smolensky guy. Why not? And bottom six forward. And in our final pick, we are going to take that other goalie I was looking at getting. That's supposed to go undrafted. Where are you? Pretty sure he's still available, right? Yeah. Matthew Elbert. Let's bring him in. And he's a medium fringe starter. Huh? Not that bad, actually, for the seventh round. Okay, so that is the end of the draft. So we'll also do the re-sign stage in this episode probably, and then you guys will suggest stuff for a free agency. Just because I, yeah, I want your guys' suggestions on how to build this team kind of. So there was a trade at the draft, so Sorensen in a second went to Arizona for a second round pick for San Jose. Interesting. Okay, so let's get to this re-sign phase. We do got to re-sign all of our AHL coaches, it looks like almost. So we will give the HL head coach a bit more money. Um, the associate coach will give him some more money. And then all these guys will also just give a bit more money. Roosevelt. The goalie coaches don't usually stay around, which is kind of annoying. So there you go. And then assign our, our scouts. We have a lot of scouts that have contracts that are up for renew renewal. So, Mowers. Oh, this episode might be a bit longer than uh, normal, guys. Apologize for that, as long as the audio is actually good this time. If it isn't, I, I don't know what the heck's wrong. I think it might be my laptop, so. No, I don't even need an NHL Pacific scout. But whatever, I just gave that guy a contract anyways. Don't need the Atlantic scout either. Don't need this AHL Central. I should have fired all those guys anyways, but we need the WHL guy for sure. And that is it, I think. So let's see who we have to re-sign this season. Hopefully no huge names. We got $42 million in cap space. We're going to also try and buy out Carl Olsner, so let's do that first before we do anything else. Because that will give us some cap to deal with. So let's see. Buy out player... For $1.5 million over two years. That's not bad at all. We'll do that. Carl Olsner's been bought out now. So that's going to help us a bit with cap, I think. Okay, so RFA is... So just period cut, can he Emmy? Who? that is a big contract. 
Hmm. I mean, I could just give him a one-year deal for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to just give him a one-year deal for now. I and mean, he'll be an RFA again next year. And then we should have more salary cap. So we'll give him one year at 6.65. Ryan Palin will give you a one-year contract at 12.50. Oliver Shillington. I could give you two years at 17.50. Juleson. We'll pretty much get all our RFAs back, but... Some of them I might not give long-term contracts to. 1200 is good for me. Lekkanen probably doesn't want a whole lot either. We'll give him 1700 Kale Fleury, who actually made it in real life, is actually growing pretty good so far. Bitch Domo. Pizzetti. We'll get all those guys for the AHL again. Verbeek. Luskinen. Luskinen has like no potential though. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna let go of Luskinen. Um, Alain, he has potential, but he's not the greatest, but we'll still sign him anyways. And then that's it for our phase. Let's go to our unsigned guys. So, Lambos is not ready for the AHL yet because he has one more WHL season or two more WHL seasons. So, we won't sign him yet. Ghoulie, we won't sign yet. Tulipov, not yet. Yeah, we'll pretty much not sign any of these guys yet. Goalie-wise, McEachern is a 60. Okay, we have some good prospects, it looks like. So we're building up a pretty good core. And then UFAs, we have some pretty big UFAs, it looks like. So for prospect rise, we're getting rid of Norlinder. Fairbrother isn't growing that well either. Harvey Pinard, no thank you. Uh, Laguerriere. Uh, he's a 66. That's not bad. So we'll sign this guy. Jacob Peltier is actually also ready for the uh, AHL team, so that's good. 73 at 20. But like I said, I never seen this guy pan out. So hopefully he does this time around. Uh, Phil Veroni. I mean, I could sign him again for the AHL team if he wants to come back. Charles Houdon. I want to bring back Xavier Roulette for now. Because Xavier Roulette was like a plus 20-something this season. So, um, Charles Houdon, on the other case, I'm going to let go of for now. Um, Joel Armia, Wheel. I definitely want to bring back Wheel. He's been a solid fourth liner. Um, Philippe Deneau, I wouldn't mind bringing back for now. He wants a lot of money, actually. Hopefully, he comes back, though. Just for one year, at least. Brendan Gallagher, as well. Even though I don't like Gallagher in real life, no offense to Montreal fans. Let's give him 5.25. And goalie-wise, we got Keith Kincaid. I'm going to find a new backup, I think, this season. So we're going to release King Keith Kincaid for now. So let's advance the day, see if we get all those guys for now. And then we will uh, well, we'll get the last of the guys done too, and then we'll check free agency. Okay, so all our coaches accepted, and now we got all our scouts, which is kind of annoying because there's a ton of pop-ups. So, okay, so that means we got all our R phase, except for Noah Juleson. Hmm. Noah Juleson. Let's give you, I could give you 1,500. Well, it's not 1,500, but still. Um, and then Jeff Petrie, Philippe Deneau rejected, and Jordan Wheel rejected, so I will give Wheel maybe a bit more, because he is a really good player, at least at face-offs, and he was pretty decent on the power play. Joel Armia, let's give you one year and a little bit more. I'm fine with giving these guys a bit bigger contracts than they're asking for, just so they sign, just as long as it's not super long term, so we'll give... Ulet one year at two million dollars. Philippe Deneau will give you one year at four point two five oh maybe four point two two five I guess. And Jeff Petrie, I don't know if I'll be able to get back. We'll see. One year at five point eight. See if those guys accept. More scouts to deal with. I hate that the scouts pop up at the same time. So. Um, so only Jeff Petrie left and Noah Juleson still rejecting. We might end up qualifying Noah Juleson for now. 
Hmm, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's just qualify Noel Juleson and then Jeff Petrie. I'll give you one year at 6.4, which is a lot of money. And then we're pretty much good everywhere else. So, okay, so Jeff Petrie is accepted and we have Juleson qualified for now. So that's good. So let's him to free agency now and then we'll take a look at what's available for this off season and then you guys could suggest down below in the comments who we should go after or not or who we should trade so oh i guess we didn't get back two of the hl coaches whatever and then we didn't get those scouts yet it's fine okay so let's take a look at what we have on a roster first and what we potentially need yeah, this episode is going to be probably closer to 30 minutes, but I apologize because of all those potential trades I was trying to make and do them. So for defensemen at the moment, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we got a 6 defenseman, so we could use another one, and then we could technically make... Well, actually, if we sign Juleson, we have 6. We could sign a depth defenseman for sure, because Kulak's dropped off a lot of reason. He might go back up next season. Um, goalie wise we do need a backup goaltender um, let's see right wing wise we got two right wingers and then also Cole Caulfield might be coming up in a couple years or in two years McCarron could be also in the NHL soon as like a fourth liner yeah he's listed as a fourth liner already and we got three four left wingers so that's seven total players that could be in the NHL team 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we might not need any forwards. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need any forwards this year, but if we do need another defenseman, and we do need, yeah, backup goaltender. So that's what we really need, guys, if you want to let me know when we look at these free agents who you think I should sign. Let's go to free agents. Hopefully there's a good backup goalie available. Okay, so if we need a defenseman, there is, yeah, there's definitely some stuff available. Like, we could in, like, a veteran kind of guy. Or we could just go for a depth defenseman or something like that. So that is what's available for defensemen, but we will probably re-sign, um, what's his name? Noah Juleson, more than likely. And then goalie-wise, backup goalies, is there a backup... Yeah, there is a good backup in Carter Hutton, but he's old, so he'd probably drop off. There's also, like, Thomas Grice and Jonathan Bernier, so a lot of older kind of goalies. As for potential players, any good potential players? Yeah, there's Carter Hart as an RFA. I don't think I'm going to be qualifying him, though, because he's an, like, yeah, he's an RFA. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some backup options, like, even Jake Allen wouldn't be that bad. Um defensively we are looking at ready let's see potentialize though jake wallman's got good potential but he's an rfa right wing wise any young guys that went undrafted no there's not oh there's a guy 75 at 25 though huh. and center wise nobody either let's take a look at the entire free agency pool by overall Sorry, my voice is trying to go on me for some reason. Um, so here is what is available in terms of everybody. If you guys see anything we should go after or, and let me know if who they should be replacing technically. Like Connor Brown would be a bad player to bring in. 84 at 27. But we'd have to let go of somebody, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much what's available in free agency, and that is pretty much going to do it for this episode of our Montreal Canadiens franchise mode. So in next episode, we'll have free agency. We might make a trade if you guys suggest any, and then we'll also um, start up the season simulation for the third season. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.